Well, earlier this morning, we shared some advice for making the most of a new diet for the new year. First News reporter Simone Blair is back in the newsroom with some things you might want to avoid when changing those eating habits. Simone, good morning. Good morning, Brooke. As people consider a new diet for the new year, there are some changes they should avoid. I spoke with local dietitian Miranda Boyer about things that could derail your progress or even be unhealthy. Boyer says goals should be realistic and help you turn changes into long-term habits. For that reason, she suggests avoiding fad diets when it comes to choosing a New Year's resolution. They're typically not sustainable and they don't provide lasting results because they're usually so restrictive that it's one hard to stick to. But then also you don't want to feel bad when you're not able to stick to it for long term. Um, and ultimately, if you're trying to work towards building healthier habits, fad diets aren't going to give you a habit to stick with. <laughs> Boyer also says you should be very careful when looking at diet information on social media or online. She's seen some advice that is very unhealthy and says you should check to see if a dietitian was involved in writing what you're reading. Boyer says if you do have any questions about a diet change, you can talk to your family doctor. There are people with certain medical conditions uh, like diabetes where it would be best to be referred to a dietitian. Uh, she did give me some links to websites, though, that have nutrition tips. We have those posted for you on WKBN.com and our mobile app. Live in the newsroom, Simone Blair, First News, Saturday morning.